Hello, this is Suelem Afnan and here I'm going to show you how to put a single culvert with multiple identical barrels in Hecras. The purpose of this example is designed to demonstrate the use of Hecras to analyze the flow of water through a culvert. The program has the capability of analyzing flow through a single culvert or multiple identical culverts and multiple non-identical culvert. Like any other program, you have to open a new file project in Hecras. To do that, you have to click the file option and then click save project as and here you have to select where do you want to save it now I want to save it in my desktop so I'm selecting my user then Kraken and then desktop folder and then put a name to this project like project or let's say Culvert project and then press OK. As I saved it on desktop, you can see the project file appearing on the desktop in the background and in the project menu bar on Hecros window. Now we have to create a new geometric data file. To do that, we have to click on the edit geometric data and then you have to click on the file menu and then click on the import geometry data option and put it on HECRAS format. I have got a geometry data already saved in my C drive so I'm selecting that so culvert project geodata is selected and then SI unit is selected and then I'm clicking finish import data you can see the imported geodata on the screen Now, you have to put a bridge or a culvert in this section. To put a culvert on a section, it's grossly identical to putting a bridge on a cross section. So, you have to click on the bridge or culvert editing option on the left side of the window then to create a new bridge you have to go to the option menu and click on add a bridge and or culvert they're asking you for a name of the bridge you're seeing the cross section I'm going to put the culvert on and I've already made an ineffective flow area in that cross section so it's also being seen on it so I'm going to put the bridge on this section to do that first you have to put the deck or roadway so I'm clicking on the edit the bridge or deck roadway option in here you can see some blank positions this is the distance between upstream and cross section and that is the deck width of the direction in the flow you can put the distance from the upstream section and putting 10 on it and the width of the culvert and I'm putting 40 feet on the width option and I'm putting 2.6 in the wear coefficient you can verify it 
from the hydraulic design manual or hydraulic reference manual as it is said all the values here are put as per the directions of hydraulic reference manual the US embankments and DS embankments also directed as the hydraulic reference manual and then I'm gonna put the upstream and downstream coordinates of the culvert let's say the first station I'm gonna put is 856 as seen on the cross section and the elevation the high chord will be 36.1 and the maximum submergence value and minimum wear flow elevation is neglected here as there will be no backwater effect on this culvert and then I'm gonna copy put the whole thing on the Acres menu and click OK. Here you are seeing the bridge or the culvert that I've put on. And now, as this is no bridge and I'm putting a culvert, there's no need to put on pier or sloping abutment or bridge modeling approach here. So I'm gonna go to the culvert option and then put the values on the blanks here you can put different shapes of barrels within the cross section or the culvert I'm gonna put two types of barrels in this culvert one of them are box shape and one of them are circular I'm gonna show you the circular one for that I'm gonna put the solution price criteria as the highest US EG and rename the section as circular In the circular barrel, I'm gonna put the diameter as six feet. And then proceeding to the chart one, I'm gonna keep the concrete pipe culvert type and the scale. I'm going to put the square edge with head mail and then in the next blank the distance to the upstream cross section is put 5 the culvert length is put 50 the entrance loss coefficient is put 0.5 as per the hydraulic reference manual the exist lost coefficient is already there and I'm not going to change it and the Manning's N on the top of the section I'm going to put it 0 0.013 and it's already copied there and then I have to put the upstream invert elevation of the culvert it has to be larger than the downstream one so I'm gonna put 25.1 and then in the next section only 25 and then in the entire cross sections the upstream and downstream coordinates are input I'm gonna put them according to my cross sections you will do that according to yours and then 
I'm gonna press OK. Here are seen two identical circular barrels with six feet of diameter and then I've also put two box size culverts also so here goes the culvert section the culvert is put and then I have to save it on the geometry data let's save it as a name geo and put ok I've got my geometry and my culvert now I have to define the flow parameters I'm gonna put three profiles of water elevation I'm gonna put them as 250 in the first profile 400 in the next one and 600 in the third one and then click on apply data to define the boundary conditions I'm putting a known water elevation on each profile for the 250 profile I'm putting 29.8 for the 400 profile I'm putting 31.2 and for the 600 flow I'm putting 31.9 I have to save the flow data with the title flow now I have to compute the flow profiles I can give it a name short ID 1 and compute it as a subcritical flow regime Files are calculated. Now we can go to the cross sections to see how the profiles look like, the water elevation, and then go on to the long sections and see all the profiles so this is more or less the entire procedure of putting a culvert with multiple barrels on Hecras thank you for watching